I'm, um, I'm two things. I'm an optimist and a realist. So I'm optimistic that I can still race at a high level, if not the highest level. But at the same time, I'm realistic. I know that uh, you know my birth certificate doesn't lie. I also know that most races I do, I'm uh, not always the oldest one in the bunch, but oftentimes I am. But I still feel good. I still feel strong when I train. Uh, I feel like I'm making progress. Recovery's good. Endurance is good, so it's an interesting feeling. I mean, I've been I've been doing this for a long time, I suppose, since I turned pro in the early '90s. But I think the thing that's changed the most there, with regards to older athletes, is is just the the conventional wisdom. If you said 20 years ago, hey, there's a guy who's almost 40 who's going to go for the tour, while it had been done in the past, but back in the day, I mean, there were a lot of old guys on bikes. But in, in modern cycling, it was it was impossible, I mean, they would have said no way. And I think that's changed. Um, I mean, you saw the Olympics, in, in, the lady who won the Olympics in Beijing was uh, in her upper 30s uh, in the Olympic marathon. Um, I think that things like that are not impossible. Again, it goes back to this whole thing of the mind and the body. And, and, and you know, an older athlete, a lot of times, if you consider they're 38 or 39 years old, they've probably been doing their sport for 25 years. And so that's just, that's why you don't see 40 year old athletes, because after a while they say, you know what, 25 years is enough, or even 20 years, 15 years is enough, I'm gonna do something else, or I'm sick of doing this. So that's the thing that shuts down the engine. Not the engine saying, oh, I mean, granted, there's sometimes people get injured, or they do wake up every morning and their back kills them, and they just say, I can't do it anymore. But as long as the body's strong and the body's good, I think, I think it's the biggest thing is, is uh, the mind.